Welcome to our video. Today, we are going to go over how to print out 4x6 shipping labels from ebay.com using a thermal printer. This guide would work for any thermal printer such as Dymo, Zebra, and Brother, but the printer we are using for this demo is the ArcScan 2054A. Now, if you're using the ArcScan 2054A, please make sure that your printer is properly configured before continuing or else you might run into some issues. The link to properly configuring your 2054A is in the description below. If your eBay shipping page looks like this, just keep watching. However, if your eBay page looks like this, skip over to the 2 minute mark in the video. This is the page where you can fill your package details and then select your shipping service. Once you've done that, on the top right hand side you see printer and label receipt preferences. Click on that and under what kind of printer are you using, select Zebra LP2844, even if your printer is not Zebra LP2844. We are just using this to get the proper printing format. Press save. Now when you press purchase postage and print out your label, it will be formatted correctly for your thermal printer. Just make sure that your thermal printer is selected and it's the correct paper size. You're good to press print and it would print out very nicely. However, if you want to make it even more perfect, you can scale it up by a few points. I find mine to work well with 105 as a scale. But like I said earlier, you can print it just how it is or you can even press fit to page and you will be good to go. Press print and you should have yourself a beautiful shipping label ready to be placed on your package. If you're having any issues with this or if you need any further assistance, do not hesitate to comment down below or reach out to us via chat on our website at arcscan.com. So when you get a sale on eBay, usually it would show up as a bell icon over here and just pick the item that you want to ship. So for example, this one. And by default, this would be 8 by 11 so we want to change the format to 4x6. This is the standard shipping label size. So I'm going to pick 4x6 and then save. Now when you go down to select a shipping method, you get to fill in the package details such as the weight and the size of the package. Now when you get down here, this is where you select the shipping service. You want to double check to make sure you select the correct shipping service. Now sometimes this would default to something else. Now if you click on show more, there's even more options such as priority mail flat rate envelope, priority mail small flat rate box, and as you can see there's also FedEx and FedEx Express Saver. And you can just go through and just pick whichever one fits your needs. Further down, we get to pick additional options such as signature confirmation, insurance, and more. Now I'm ready to print out my label. So I'm going to click on purchase and print label. Now I'm going to make sure that my destination is set to my label printer. So I'm going to press print. And it should come out perfectly just like that. Now just stick this onto your package and drop it off at your local post office. If you need a shipping label printer, the ArcScan 2054A is the state-of-the-art thermal shipping label printer that can automatically detect your paper size, lasts a long time, and has excellent printing quality. Save $65 on the ArcScan 2054A at arcscan.com by entering the discount code you see on the screen during the checkout process. The product page link will be in the description. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any other questions, you can comment below or send us an email. See you in the next video.